Okay, folks, my lamp's lit, very bright. We have 27 volts approximately across it. And here's the generator, the test tube generator. There's a the test tube stuck in the center of the coil. And same coil, same setup as before. Except this time, I'm going to show you what's inspiring this thing. There it is, right there. I got a, a half inch magnet, bump, uh, spear magnet, ball magnet, inside of a test tube. The test tube is inside of the 14 millimeter uh, in, inside diameter of the test tube, it's about 6 inches long. And as long as I keep this ball magnet right here, I have a little bit of oil on the magnet, a whole bunch, just a, just a scotch, just, just, just the outside surfaces of that uh, ball magnet have a little bit of WD-40 oil on it. Hardly any noise, and it works within a certain parameter, certain radius right here, just like before, like the splish splash business I was showing you before. And you could just set it down in the center, right in the core, like, and it works too, just like so. Pretty cool. And well, my light's lit pretty good, I'm not getting no flickering that I could see. And I'll just show you how this works when I take this out and stop. And when you pull it out and you take it away a certain distance, it will stop. And try to show this where the magnet, I'm holding the camera so it's a little, little, little bit jerky. Okay, now I'm going to pull this away and watch, watch the lamp. Lamp out. Ball out. Now in order for me to restart this again, I'm going to have to set this back down here like so and stroke that with another magnet. And I'll set that ball spinning again and when the voltage builds up into the lamp about 80 volts DC, the lamp kicks on. It stays on. As long as this magnet's within a certain distance of that center of that core. But anyways, I thought you'd like to see this and pretty much that's the gist of how things work here. And uh, thanks for watching.